Today, we're gonna to be talking about Canelo versus Billy Joe Saunders. So first, we're gonna talk about stats, then we're gonna talk about game plan for each fighter, and then we're gonna have a prediction at the end. So let's start with the stats. Looking at these two side by side, age-wise, they're very close in age. There's almost no difference here. Looking at height, this is the biggest difference right here is that is Billy Joe Saunders 5'11", Canelo is 5'8", and reach-wise, Billy Joe Saunders has an inch of reach. Looking at their KO percentages, right now, Billy Joe Saunders has a 46% KO percentage and Canelo has a 63% KO percentage. So now let's talk about strategy and let's start with Saunders. Billy Joe, I think it's pretty obvious what he has to do in this fight. He has to box well, he has to move well, and he has to stay very focused throughout this entire 12 rounds. He has to stay off of the ropes as much as possible. He has to treat them as if they're barbed wire and they're going to hurt him because if he gets caught up against them at all, that is where Canelo will try to do the most amount of work. He has to find ways to either clinch or get off of them and find lateral movement that's going to enable him to either get away or counter from that, from that kind of position. The big thing for Billy is I don't think he has the power to necessarily knock out Canelo. So he's gonna have to find ways to frustrate Canelo because he's not gonna have the power to stop Canelo from coming forward. So using that footwork he has, using lateral movement, using his sharp counter punching as well, his boxing skills and his ring IQ is what he needs to do to frustrate Canelo as much as possible. Now let's talk about what Canelo needs to do for this fight. You know, a lot of people talk about Canelo has sometimes having issues with slick fighters. We've especially saw this in it earlier in his career. I think the big thing for him is doing body work right out of the gate will take a lot of wind out of a slick mover's sails. It also creates a, a situation where they don't know if you're going to the body or if you're coming upstairs. It gives a little bit more of a dynamic kind of presence with your attack because now they have to guess a little bit more. You need to cut off the ring because if you chase Billy Joe Saunders, it will be a nightmare for you in that ring. And that's where he has a lot of success is if you can't cut off the ring on him, he finds ways to find the angles that he likes. The other thing I think for Canelo is he also has a great defense. He has a very, I mean, he's fairly slick himself. And I think he can utilize that to counter punch and find moments where he catches Billy Joe Saunders off guard. That's what he needs to do for this fight. He needs to try to be the aggressor, but use pressure, but be smart about it. Smart pressure, not just pressure for pressure's sake. We've seen this before. Guys that are really slick, like guys that are fairly heavy handed, that just come forward. Why? Because they can time them. They can figure out what they like to throw, and then they can eventually just do what they do best, which is just outbox them. So smart pressure in terms of setting traps and making sure that you're going to be the one that wins the exchanges when you do apply that pressure on the front foot. All right, prediction time. When I like to make my predictions for fights like this, I like to look at a couple things. I like to look at resumes. I like to look at, you know, how they're looking physically in the gym, just through social media and stuff like that. And another thing I look at is consistency. How consistent have they been at this weight class? How consistent have they been in their last couple fights? And that to me is the biggest deciding factor in this fight. Canelo is the poster boy for consistency. Physically, I think both of them look pretty good. Billy Joe Saunders looks like he might be in some of the best shape he's ever been in, and I applaud him for that. But he's very inconsistent. Since David Lemieux fight, he moved up in weight class, and he hasn't looked great. He hasn't looked great since leaving 160, in my opinion. I don't think I've seen a fight where I've been really impressed with him. And he hasn't fought top-level competition either. So now we're looking at a difference of over three years of not fighting top level competition and not looking great at this current weight class. So for me, it's an easier choice to pick Canelo. I think it's a safer choice. Um, I think Canelo by decision is probably the easiest and safest choice. I'm gonna try to go out a little bit on a limb and say that I think Canelo will stop Billy Joe Saunders late in this fight. I just think that his abilities and just the way Right now, it seems like Canelo's peaking. He's absolutely at his best form right now. And although Billy Joe Saunders, I think, is going to come in very prepared, I just feel like I'm not seeing enough consistency from him 
to feel like he's going to be able to go in there and shine against Canelo. So that's my prediction. We are going to be live streaming during this fight. So if you want to stop on by and hang out with everybody, make sure to, to subscribe to the channel. And with that said, we'll talk to you later. Thanks.